Okay, if you'd like to introduce yourselves to the cameras, because I, I dare say a lot of people out there, especially in the metal world, don't know who you are okay. what, what your involvement is. Okay. okay. Well, I'm Henry Lynn Cobbold, and I, uh, my lot are the lot living at Ledworth House now. We've been here for since 1490, and we're the 19th generation. And it's a fun place to live. Mm-hmm. I'm Martha Lytton Cobbold, Henry's wife and managing director of Nebworth Park and have the responsibility of making sure everything runs smoothly and everybody has a good time, which we will. Great. And what does Nebworth uh, mean to you guys? I mean, what, what, does, what, what sort of chaos does it cause you? As, as, as a rock venue, yeah. it's, you know, it's now what we are known for worldwide. And um, we've been doing it for 35 years and um, we do it well. And, um, um, it's a lot of work, a lot of hard work, but also a lot of fun. Yeah. And um, we've had uh, some classic shows over the years. Um, we've, uh, interestingly, the week after Sonosphere, we've got two separate groups of uh, the Zeppelin fans turning up to, to be at the place that they were at, the very field that they were at 30 <laughs> years ago. Relive the memories. To relive those uh, Zeppelin 79 memories. And no doubt in 30 years' time there'll be people coming back to be in the same field they were at witnessing Metallica here in 2009. And what sort of uh, input do you guys have uh, to the actual running of the thing? We run the entire park, so um, really anything that happens here needs to go through us. Um, the promoter and his team, the production team, are extremely well qualified and experienced and know what they're doing. But it's important for us as our home and as our venue and our business to ensure that everything does go as well as possible. And also to share our historic knowledge, because we've... we've worked through or sat through, experienced um, literally all of the events that have happened here and we know how some things have happened better than other things and so we can help with that experience and, uh, and make sure it goes as smoothly as possible. We were here in <coughs> when Deep Purple in 85 when it yeah. poured with rain, that was the one time where it really, uh, we had a bit of rain to deal with. Phoned every farmer in the area <laughs> for tractors yeah, and get people out. Cars, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But it was still a great show, even that, you know, even, in fact, actually the rain was amazing. It looked fantastic, that show. And how do you find the people, you know, you the call them metalheads, how do you find that you get on with the people? Do you, do you actually walk around and mingle? And, absolutely. <laughs> yeah? yeah, absolutely. I think it's really important to be on site, to experience the band as well, and also to be available to, uh, to answer questions and... Um, People are always interested in that work. They're interested in the house, they're interested in the park. Interestingly, they're interested in the gardens. Um, you know, when we had Jamiroquai play here with the Ministry of Sound event, JK was particularly interested in the gardens. He just purchased an older house and wanted to learn about it. Um, you know, so I'm never never cease to be amazed with the questions and one was very happy well, to in to the seventies I remember as kids, you know, my mum you know, we we had the advantage of being able to get in the arena early. So my yeah. mum, you know, early so up at seven in the morning with sleeping bags to be down, get a nice position down at the front layout for sleeping bags. And uh, that was my mum uh, back in the 70s. And, uh, we, um, we're, 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 nowadays, we've, I mean, we're, um, we're running around working, I think, but uh, we still get to enjoy it as well. So once, will you be in the mosh pit with Mastodon? Um, <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not, but I'd like to see it. Yeah, that, that would, I would like to see that. Too. Yeah, yeah. A bit of character, we'll get you up there. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember some, some fun events in the past where we got not too far off that. <laughs> and what's the... I mean, uh, I can imagine the mess and the money from after. How long does it actually take to, to look after it? It's amazingly quick. It's a well worn machine, and, and you know, the equipment that comes in is, is fascinating to see. And you've got to clear it for the next day. Each of, each day is its own event day, so to speak. And so, if we want it to look as fresh and as perfect for the second day as it is for the first, and it goes very quickly. It goes very quickly. Yeah, they, they have these big, massive Hoover trucks now that just Hoover it all up. All right. And the ground recovers very quickly in this country. Yeah. It really does. A week, a week, a sprinkle of rain and a week later you'd hardly know it was here. In the old days, of course, we used to get the girl guides in to pick up the low rubbish. <laughs> yeah. Until they, I think they started finding sort of magic mushrooms and things. Yeah. Like, <laughs> suddenly the gu- Health and safety <laughs> kicked in. Yeah, I think yeah. the scout leaders thought maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. <laughs> but uh, no, nowadays it's these big hoover trucks that come and hoover it all up. Yeah. And have you ever had the damage that you regretted letting people in or anything like that? No, I mean, you, you do have the odd bit of damage, but everything can generally be fixed, and, and there's nothing that I'm aware of that anyone 
was particularly upset about. It's generally a bit of deer fencing or a post or something of that nature. It's really not popular. It's what we do. Yeah, and people, and are, you know, people have spent money to come here to enjoy the music, you know, not to. It's a, it's a, it's a musical event. So people are here to have a good time. And, which um, is usually listen to the music, not to putting up the deer fence. <laughs> and and is the. Does the, oh, so obviously the money helps with the keep of the hall and everything. Absolutely, um, yeah. and is that the main thing that helps you keep going, or is the opening well, the hall as well helps you keep going? It's um, the concerts really really help in terms of our leisure in- infrastructure. I mean, yeah. um, um, I'm afraid the problem with the house itself is bigger than that. It might, the concerts won't ever solve the house's problems because there's big numbers that we need to fix the house. But it does help in terms of the infrastructure of, of, and us being able to offer at this, this leisure facility, for instance. Um, the Robbie Williams concerts in 2003, they paid to have our a, a, a sewage connection put in for this uh, for, for our, for our mainline sewage connection, um, and and they um, and it helped us buy the uh, dinosaurs, which are now a great attraction for the kids. Um, who, uh, we have, uh, There's an awful lot of infrastructure work that yeah. has to be done in repairing roads and repairing fences and putting in the, the sewage treatment uh, system that was required um, and trying to enhance and make the, the place better. We also did some work to um, to widen an access area uh, which will be utilised for this event. And it's important to keep enhancing the facility there to are, make there it aren't many, flexible. I mean, on a day-to-day level, there aren't many leisure venues like Nebworth no. in, in, in this area. I mean, Hertfordshire has actually got it's only got sort of, in very few of these sort of country parts that, uh, where people can come out and have a day out with the family, and so um, so it's important that we keep you know we keep in tune with that and that we um, provide a. I mean, okay, the, the, the big events every that come along every once in a while are fantastic, but yeah. we also have this regular day to day clientele. It's and, part uh, of the portfolio yeah. of what we do. Yeah. We're doing a lot of different things: filming, concerts, yeah. conferences, weddings, day visitors. I can imagine. Like I'd say this is definitely the most impressive media centre I've been in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is an old uh, 16th century barn which uh, we lifted uh, in the early 70s. We lifted it up, put it on wheels. One of these. Oh right. Yeah, and um, and dragged it with a traction engine a mile from the village and plumped it down here. And at the time, it was the largest ever intact building to be moved on wheels. <laughs> um, and um, so yeah, this is actually an old barn that was uh, had uh, grain in it and sheep and cows for. There's some pictures in the hallway. Have a look um, yeah, just as you go, and um, it shows it before and after. Yeah, and this one has a picture of a young girl and a donkey. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's fun, isn't it? All right. I think we finished on that, don't you? Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very, Thanks very much. much. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. <laughs> very nice to meet you. Thanks for your interest.